Today I'm speaking with Tawana Bain, who is the uh, leader of uh, American Clean Resources Group, a, uh, I believe, a new venture uh, that is unique. Uh, Tawana, can you please tell us what the unique features of your of your venture are? Sure, sure. Um, so American Clean Resources Group, um, our key objective is to provide a platform to produce net zero minerals and metals for the American supply chain. Um, you know, obviously because we're dealing with tailings, um, the amount of energy that needs to be used as opposed to mining um, is reduced by 90%. And so we're hoping that once we start developing our renewable platform, we'll be able to power all the facilities on our property off the grid. And where is that property? Uh, that is in Tonopah, Nevada. Um, we call it the you know the old city of Millers, so we call it Millers. It and in in that area where where you're operating, I be, I believe that America's now um, a burning lithium industry is developing. Is that correct? It is. It is. We like to say the lithium hub of the of the world is in close proximity to where. Um, our property is. And we also hope, you know, through the excess power um, that we use to power our own facilities that uh, uh, our neighbors uh, will tap into that as well. I, I think that you're, I, I personally believe you're really onto something. And uh, I, I congratulate you for coming up with, with this idea. Um, what do you see as roadblocks to de to developing your company because that's that's always the problem uh with with a new idea so tell me how you're going to overcome inertia sure i mean it, it's like with anything else especially when you're dealing with public lands you know obviously any sort mm -hmm. of permitting um any sort of tribal um disputes uh, mm -hmm. i think are things that are going to be uh roadblocks but what I can say is that um, we've got a great group of, of advisors um, that have really wrapped, wrapped their arms around this project and the work that we're doing and are already making inroads um, with the correct agencies and groups um, so that we're all on the same page about what we're trying to accomplish. You know, uh, you look very young, but I suspect that you, you've done quite a bit. And I've, can you tell us something about your background? Well, you know, Jack, I get that all the time. And in my in my community, they say black don't crack. So don't let <laughs> don't let the face fool you that between a, a great makeup palette. But um, I have spent a number of years in environmental consulting um, strategy, mm -hmm. uh, community mm -hmm. outreach. Um, and I've been at this for over 20 years, specifically mm -hmm. in that in that industry. And so um, we have had uh, a great role um, in promoting um, uh, stream restoration uh, tools uh, for geomorphologists. Uh, we have been extremely involved in technical writing for various consent decrees for municipalities, um, from education and strategy around public outreach. Um, so we've we've run the gamut. Um, now, obviously, I spent a great deal of time uh, in the shadows for a very long time, working behind the scenes, supporting various executives and um, subject matter experts. So this is the first time that I have decided to make my debut in a very public manner. Uh, uh, but I like to believe that um, I've had some amazing people over the years um, that have trusted me to support them on the back end that has prepared me to lead such a big charge today. I think that your, your challenge is to, is to educate the investing public as to what you're doing and what are the benefits over and beyond any political aspect. Because mm -hmm. I think you have found a genuine vacuum here that needs to be filled uh mm -hmm. quite frankly uh i rarely say this i hadn't thought about this aspect of of uh energy production and i congratulate you on coming up with 
uh, not only a new idea, but one that's clearly necessary. We're never going to meet our goals in America unless we do things like you're planning to do. And um, I wish you good luck. Thank you, Jack. I really appreciate that. Our, our goal is to help America become self-reliant again. And we think that we've got the business model and the strategy to make that happen. And it just so happens to be a female who looks quite young, <laughs> who's also a minority. And so you know what? This is what America is all about, right? And so this is a living example of us making that happen. But I really do appreciate it. We look forward. I will most certainly keep you all informed on a regular basis about the progress that we're making. Um, I hope to talk to you more about this. And... Uh... We're going, to, we're going to be paying close attention to your company because I think it's I think it's a winner. I really do. Thank, thank, thank you. Thank you very much.